Hi, I'm Bill Lloyd. And I'm Scott Finch. We're the authors of the soon-to-be best-selling book, The Dude's Guide to Pregnancy. If those crazy adult films have taught us anything, it's that women want sex from dudes any way they can get it. Cable guy, pizza delivery guy, even pizza delivery girl. Today's modern woman seems unsatiable. Interesting. You know, it turns out sex was actually invented hundreds of years ago. Not for fun, but for the sole purpose of conceiving children. I mean, where do you think all those babies come from? Look around you. Wow. We'd like to show you the secrets behind sexual reproduction in a way that's accurate, easy to understand, and non-offensive. Done right, you may end up with a very pregnant special lady friend. And an urgent need for advice on how to deal with her. We recommend The Dude's Guide to Pregnancy. But we're a bit biased. <laughs> uh, now, let's get cracking, America. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. You know, despite what you may have read on the internet, oral sex doesn't always lead to pregnancy. Now, we're not going to sit here and bore you to death with all the scientific reasons as to why or why not. You're just going to have to take our word for it. Right, oh, Scott. A good rule of thumb to remember is the less fun you're having, the more likely your special lady friend is to become pregnant. Well put, dude. You've used the expression so many times by now, you probably don't even remember what it means. Birth control actually means to control birth. So you might want to avoid it. Huh. The pill? Forget about it. Condoms? No go. Well, what about diaphragm? No way. Spermicidal lubricants? Uh-uh. The rhythm method? Not really. Well, what about diaphragms? Still no. Man. This pregnancy stuff sure is hard work. Tell me about it. We almost forgot the most important part. It's the granddaddy of all fertilization advice, and it's this. Leave it in. Now, if you're having trouble remembering that, just think of the number 52. Now, the Roman numeral for 52 is L-I-I, which of course stands for leave it in. It's called a mnemonic device, and it's actually quite good for remembering stuff. Right, Bill? We hope you found this video both entertaining and useful. We recommend you pick up a copy of The Dude's Guide to Pregnancy to peruse between instances of attempting sexual reproduction. It's useful, fun advice will help make the next several months more tolerable. Mostly. But we're a bit biased. <laughs> Until next time, we're the dudes. <laughs> <laughs>